a very special one. It's one that we don't get to see very often, a Goliath heron. And I'd love to hear what number bird this will be on your bird list because it's not one that we see very often in this area. But with all the water and the rain that we've had, it's now formed these beautiful wetlands and we can see massive birds like this. I haven't seen a Goliath heron in a very, very long time. I think this is the first time I've actually seen one in the Sabi sand before, which is really, really special for me. This is absolutely fantastic. And I hope that it is you enjoy it just as much as me. But it's the largest heron that we get in Southern Africa. It is massive. I'm not actually sure how tall it stands, but it must be, let me check on my birding app very quickly how tall a Goliath heron is. Like I said, I haven't seen one in such a long time. I've almost forgotten uh, how big they are. And they've got a big wingspan too. Let's go heron. Let's have a very, very quick look. We need to find the Goliath, the biggest one, please. Where are you, Goliath Heron? Yes, here we go. So, right, I'm just going to quickly have a look. Oh, my goodness. So, it stands at just under 1.5 meters tall. So, that's massive for a bird, and it's actually quite heavy. And um, it weighs just under 4.5 kilograms. So, that must be about 9 pounds or so. And interesting fact it's actually the world's largest heron so here we go you're looking at the world's largest heron pretty amazing and striking colors too beautiful big yellow eye i love those little streaks that it has got going down its breast and then on the back it's sort of a lightish brown color as well brent would be so happy if he was uh, out Sorry, let me just turn the game drive radio down. He would be very, very excited to add this to his bird list, and I'm so sad that he's not out here and he wasn't the one to find it. He set himself a challenge, and I know that he would really, really appreciate something along these lines. Isn't that wonderful? Fantastic. So like I said, let us know what number this is on your bird list. Josh, you said that this is number 51. It seems like you've just started you're starting out on your bird list, which is fantastic. Keep on going, Josh. And I don't know when we'll see a bird like this again. Like I said, it's very, very special for this. Oh, wow. Fuzzman Sparkles, this is bird 194. Well done. That's very, very good. So you can see the viewers who have been watching for a very long time have put uh, these bird lists together. And it's just a nice little checklist to sort of go through. Is there anybody that has hit 200 because of the Goliath heron that we've just found this morning? If you have, like I said, hashtag Safari Live, and I'd love to hear from you. I think 200 is a very lucky number for when it comes to birding. Nina, this is number 201. Well, well done you. On your mark to almost see most of the, well, almost the 250-odd species that we see on a regular basis in the area. That's not including sort of all the vagrants and the migrants and things. Those are just the sort of common ones. So well, well done to all of you. That is fantastic news. Now, it's actually not just... Oh, DMC, you're just starting out your list. You said that this is number one. Good for you. DMC, I'm going to show you a second bird, third bird, fourth bird, fifth bird. Should we see how many we can get? There is actually an African fish eagle also sitting in the